Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who don't know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I am going to be doing a new tag that I came up with the questions for. I'm super excited about this. It is called the Makeup Habit Tag and I'm doing this in collaboration with some good friends here on YouTube, Raven and Amanda. I will have their channels linked down below and I highly recommend checking them out. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this tag so that you guys can see all of my makeup habits. <laughs> so the first question, and by the way, my good old notebook, because that's how I roll. Number one, how often do you wear a full face of makeup, foundation, eyeshadow, contour, you know, the works, cake face type thing? Um, I would say that I wear a full face of foundation two to three times a week. It just depends. Usually if I'm filming, I'm going to put on a full face of makeup. If I'm going out somewhere with my husband, I'm gonna put a full face of makeup. Throughout the rest of the week, I either wear makeup or I don't. It just depends. Number two, is your everyday makeup look more neutral or more colorful? I would say I tend to reach for more colorful looks throughout the week. I'm known for wearing bright blue eyeshadow into work. Uh, today I went for more neutral with kind of a pop of peach, but typically it is very colorful. I love playing around with color. Number three, how long does your, do, how long does it take you to do your go-to look? My go-to look is just my brows and my eyeshadow, and that takes me, I would say, about 20 minutes. Um, that's a good day though, because sometimes my brows are they're trying me, <laughs> I'll put it that way. So about 20 minutes if I'm just gonna do my brows and an eyeshadow look. Number four, do you apply your foundation before or after you do your eyeshadow? I apply my foundation after, I used to do it before, but then I got into the habit of using a lot of loose pigments and those were just a mess and so to save myself from having to redo my foundation or my concealer or any of my base makeup, I kind of took it upon myself to switch my routine and do my eyes first and then do my foundation. And it has been a lifesaver, let me tell you. What are some bad makeup habits you have that you can't stop doing? So I tend to... Oh my goodness, this will be fun. I tend, <laughs> tend to leave my makeup out everywhere and sometimes I leave it open. Um, I am kind of a clutter bug when it comes to my makeup, like it is unreal. Um, I also use my hands a lot, especially in like products that I probably shouldn't use my fingers in. Uh, I also sometimes don't sanitize all my brushes that well, so. I usually try to clean them once a week, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Some bad makeup habits over here. <laughs> Number six, do you use beauty influencer techniques or techniques of your own to apply your makeup? I tend to kind of use like a combination of those techniques. I don't feel like I always do everything beauty guru wise. Like I wouldn't say the way I apply my eyeshadow, for example, is necessarily beauty guru worthy or beauty influencer worthy. I tend to kind of just do my own thing with that. Sometimes I use my fingers, sometimes I use the same brush the whole time. Just to give a few examples, I also tend to use my fingers a lot, especially for my highlight and on my nose and things like that. I don't do my lips the way beauty gurus do. Like, I start on the bottom, some people start at the top. I, I just kind of have some things that work for me as well as, you know, some things that I've learned from beauty influencers and things like that. So that's where that's at. <laughs> Number seven, what is the one step in your routine that, routine that takes the longest to complete? My eyebrows. By far, my eyebrows take the longest to complete, and it's more because I'm just trying to be meticulous with them. I, I do my best to make them at least look even. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't even look related. Like, it seriously depends on the day, and they're, they're up to something, because sometimes they work out really well, and then other times they're like, <laughs> it's not gonna happen today. So, it is usually my brows, and they can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, and it depends on how full like on I'm going and what shape I decide to do for that day. So there you go. 
What is one step in your makeup routine routine that you're okay with skipping? Foundation. I'm 100% okay with skipping foundation. And that's more because I found a routine that kind of has helped me keep my skin pretty clear and I feel comfortable being barefaced with just moisturizer and some SPF on. Um, foundation is one step that I just don't want to do. I, it, Sometimes it's unnecessary. I do it for filming and like going out on special occasions and things, but it is not an everyday staple for me. So there you go with that. Number nine or eight B, sorry. This was a two part question. What is one step in your makeup routine you will never skip? So the one step in my makeup routine I will probably never skip is eyeliner. I love eyeliner. I can handle not doing my brows. Um, some people don't like that, but I love eyeliner. Oh, and mascara. Those are the steps that just have to stay. I used to only wear eyeliner and mascara, so I'm kind of still stuck on that. Like, I don't feel right if I'm not wearing eyeliner of some kind. Number nine, what type of makeup looks are out of your comfort zone? I would say makeup looks that are out of my comfort zone are heavily neutral makeup looks or some of the fancier editorial stuff. Like if it doesn't look completely wearable, but you know, I kind of push the envelope with what is wearable. So I, I have like kind of a mixed feeling about some of the editorial makeup looks that come out. Like some of them I think are really cool. And then other times I'm like, whoa, that is pushing the envelope with makeup there. Which I think is a good thing, you know, to put me out of my comfort zone. It shouldn't be something that I'm like, hey, that's awesome. I would do that every single day, you know, with things like that. So that's kind of where it kind of pushes that line of what I'm comfortable with. But I'm hoping to start playing around with more like editorial looks versus completely wearable colorful looks, if you know what I mean. We're, we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Number 10, do you wear matte liquid lipstick, cream lips, lipstick, gloss, or a mixture? So I tend to stick with matte liquid lipstick or a cream lipstick. Occasionally I'll wear a gloss, so I guess it is more of a mixture but I tend to lean more towards the matte liquid lipstick. Number 11, if you could only wear one shade of lipstick for the rest of your life, what would it be? What I have on my lips right now, it's Monday by ColourPop. That is completely what I would wear. I reach for this shade all the time. I'm actually surprised that there is still lipstick in there because if I'm going to wear something that's more of like a nude, kind of comfortable color, it's going to be this. And I'll pair it with pretty much anything, even though sometimes it doesn't really go because I like this color so much. <laughs> Number 12, do you highlight and contour your face? Do, do I? Do I? Yes, I do. I kind of, I, there are days where I won't contour. Um, I can, you know, it's, it just depends on how I feel, but I will always rock a highlight because it's a lot of fun for me. I love highlighting my face. I will over highlight my face. It becomes a problem. So number 13, what is the one step in your makeup routine that makes you feel the most complete? So for me, that is anything to do with my eyes. If I do my eyes, I tend to feel complete with my makeup. Uh, I don't feel complete if my eyes are not done. Like if I decide, oh, I'm just gonna wear a lipstick today, I, I feel off. Like if I have eyeshadow or at least eyeliner and mascara on, I feel complete and good to go and ready for the day. So that is very much a staple in my makeup routine. Well, if you guys would like to do this tag, I will have all of the questions linked down below as well as Raven and Amanda's channels and videos. I highly recommend checking them out. Thank you guys so much and I do hope that you enjoyed this tag. Thanks again and bye!